Welcome to English in a Minute. Mom is a word used for a person's mother. And pop is used for a person's father. Mom and pop. This expression has anything to do with our parents? Jonathan, I have a lunch meeting in your neighborhood. Know any good restaurants? You know, there is a great mom and pop restaurant. I love mom and pop places. Great food. And friendly service too. Mom and pop is a phrase used to describe a small business owned by a single family. The owners are directly involved in running the business. A mom and pop business can be anything from a grocery store to a restaurant. Mom and pop. And that's English in a minute. Welcome to English in a minute. On the Easter holiday, some American children search for a painted egg and put them in a basket. Put all your eggs in one basket. Have you decided which business school to apply to? To apply? I really, really wanted to go to Harvard Business School, so I'm just applying to that one. You're putting all your eggs in one basket. Don't you think you should apply two more than one? Just in case, in case what? In case you don't get it. And you put all your eggs in one basket. You put all of your resources in one life. If you do this, you risk losing everything. We usually use this as a warning. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And that's English in a Minute. Welcome to English in a Minute. A big wagon describes a vehicle that we used to carry performers from a circus. Jump on the big wagon. Hey, how was your exercise class last night? What's it called again? Water yoga. It's a popular new water exercise. You should try it. Anna, I'm not one to jump on the bandwagon, especially if you have to do with yoga. Come on, Jonathan. Jump on the water yoga bandwagon. Bandwagon. You jump something that became popular. Actual bandwagons. Well, first used for a circus band. Politically, also use them in campaigns to get attention. Today, the word bandwagon in the expression represents anything that's popular. And that's English in a minute.